Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Tanner Tech. Hello, this is Tanner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to fix your whole house fan. So, earlier today, this whole house fan broke. Now, a whole house fan is a type of fan that cools off your house at night by sucking in air through the windows. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to fix this um, whole house fan or any motor that uses a starting capacitor. So, this is the motor that the starting capacitor is attached to. <clears throat> and when I came up here, this motor is turned off. Now, the reason it turned off was because it was extremely hot and had triggered, triggered the thermal fuse inside the motor, which immediately shuts off the fan if it gets too hot. Now, this problem was most likely caused by the starting capacitor not being the right capacitance. When I checked it on my multimeter, it only said it was 5 microfarads instead of the 10 that's supposed to be here. So this capacitor, something has happened inside that has made it lose some of its capacitance properties, which means that it's no longer suitable for this motor and it has caused it to overheat. Now to change this capacitor, what I'll do is I'll unscrew the bracket that holds it in, take off the rubber cap, and remove the two wires that hold it to the motor. As you can see from the burn marks in the capacitor, this motor got very hot. So looking at this capacitor, we can see that it is 10 microfarads at 370 volts AC. So this means we need to find a matching capacitor. Because when I checked this capacitor on my multimeter, it only said it was 4 or 5 microfarads, which is not suitable for this application. Now I found this new capacitor, it's on my parts bin. This capacitor is 15 microfarads, but that should still work because having more capacitance will not hurt this fan. As you can see, it is also rated for 370 volts. I will take the capacitor and slide it into the new bracket, and then I'll clamp it down, put the screw through, and be prepared to tighten it on to the actual fan frame. I can then completely attach the new capacitor the fan. So after the new capacitor is secured firmly in place, we can now attach it with wires. I can take the wires, slide them onto the capacitor, and then move the rubber socket over it. As you can see with the new capacitor installed, when the fan is turned on, it works just properly. The new capacitor functions perfectly in making the fan run. So now that the new capacitor is installed, this fan works fine. As always, thank you for watching and please subscribe.